guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm taking full advantage of the incredible amount of zucchini that we have growing all around us, and I'm gonna show you how to make a fabulous chocolate zucchini bread. Before they're out of season, I figured I'm gonna just cram them in and anything and everything because they're just so delicious. And I've shared how to make a traditional zucchini bread with you. I've shared how to make a little zucchini muffin, so I wanted to go all out and make a double chocolate version that's just killer. The list of ingredients, it's short and sweet, kind of like me. <laughs> You'll need some unsweetened cocoa powder, all-purpose flour. These are some uh, semi-sweet chocolate buttons. Chocolate chips will work as well. I've got salt, baking powder, and baking soda. I've got a little bit of instant espresso and some cinnamon, granulated sugar, shredded zucchini, vegetable oil, eggs, and vanilla extract. That is it. Get your oven preheated to 350. Get it an eight uh, by four inch loaf pan greased really nicely. You can also line it with parchment if you want to. I'm gonna live dangerously today, and I just sprayed it really, really well with some nonstick spray, so that should be good to go. Super simple. We're gonna make it with a whisk, a spatula, and a bowl, because I could use the workout. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add my sugar and my eggs, and I am just going to whisk these together for a good two minutes. I really want these to be nice and light and fluffy, and then we'll proceed. Perfect. I'm gonna add just a small splash of vanilla extract. If you make your own vanilla extract, like I've shared with you over the holiday season last year, make sure you give it a good shake every time you use it because the seeds tend to, because we're using all the vanilla seeds, they kind of tend to sink to the bottom and you don't want that. Along with the veg oil and the zucchini. Now the shredded zucchini adds, you know, to be honest, it doesn't add, the, it doesn't add flavor but it adds incredible moisture. And it's a really great way to sneak a little serving, a little extra serving of vegetables in your diet. I mean, <laughs> kind of not counting the, the calories here, because you know, zucchini, great and all, but you've got sugar and everything else. But the point is, it's great to be able to add it to this, because it does add a lot of really good moisture and keeps the cake just amazing. Okay, now our dry ingredients. Just give everything a good stir, because you just want to make sure that those chocolate chips or chocolate buttons, whatever you're using, are coated well in the flour mixture. That way they don't all sink to the bottom of the batter, and if they do, you know, oh well. But at least we're trying to prevent that from happening, you know? Add that all in. And then at this point, I just switch to my spatula because I just need to mix this long enough to incorporate the dry ingredients. I don't want to overwork this because otherwise I develop the gluten in the flour and then the bread becomes really moist and really moist, really, really tough. And it doesn't stay nice and moist the way I like it. That looks perfect. Get my pan and I just want to grab my bowl. And look at that. I mean, that is just a sight to see, isn't it? Excellent. You can easily, by the way, which I tend to do a lot at the end of summer, you can easily double or triple the recipe and make multiple loaves at once. Just add a few more minutes in the oven for them to all bake because obviously the more you put in, the more the temperature will drop. And I'm telling you, they make for the best last late summer, early fall, housewarming gifts, we're just bringing it to your neighbor, they got your mail while you're away, all that stuff. This needs to go into a hot oven at 350, around an hour or until it's fully cooked through. I'm gonna let it cool completely once it comes out and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I can finally dig in. This beauty was in the oven for about an hour and I've let it cool pretty much completely now. There's still like a touch of warmth to it, which I love, so I had to go ahead and cut into it now because it smells phenomenal. Now it won't rise that much, even though there's eggs and baking powder, the zucchini is quite heavy, so it's not gonna rise that much, but trust me when I tell you, it's going to be moist and delicious and gorgeous. I mean, come on, look at that. Not a dry crumb in sight. Oh, that's just fantastic. I can't wait to take a piece of this, you have no idea. I'm just gonna go for that right there, so nobody sees it. Try to be like, oh look, the chocolate's melting a little bit. You see that? Because it's still warm. Do you see that right there? Oh, yes. It 
literally just tastes like a phenomenally delicious chocolate pancake, but like dense and moist and wonderful on every single level. You need to make this. Please make this right now. Go to lauraimthekitchen.com. I promise you, you will not regret it. It's absolutely to die for. And I could get myself into a lot of trouble having a whole loaf of this on hand. <laughs> Go to lauraimthekitchen.com to get the recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.